Yeah, so I read in the paper this morning that more and more adults are staying at home with their parents. That's surprising. I was like, Mom, did you read this? <laughs> so surprised I got Fruit Loops all over my bed. I'm kidding. My mom read that for me. Sound it out, sound it out. Maury and Maury, adults. Nothing? I don't like reading the newspaper, because first of all, it's hard. And also they, also they never sum up a, a story on the front page. And I'm never curious, curious enough to go inside and see how anything ever ends. And after a nine-year trial, the jury finally came in with a ber verdict of, continued on page 22, column C. I guess I'll never know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to learn how to read better. So, uh, I took a speed reading course, and not to brag, but my speed shot up to 43 pages per minute. But my comprehension plummeted. <laughs> I was flying, sparks coming off my fingertips. The people next to me were like, he's a rapid reader. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to learn how to read better because you know, I hear it's good for you or something. No one ever bad mouths it. You never see a point counterpoint show on reading. And on the pro side of reading, a professor with like a professor with a bow tie. And on the absence side, <laughs> reading, reading don't never do nothing. Cause if you have, if you has, have, has have it in, if you did have it in, has, have, has have it in a book, and you look, I look, I look, I look, has look at it, look at it, it, and you might not even know why you had do that. <laughs> If reading makes you smarter, then why do they put the title? Of, then why do they have to put the title of the book on the top of every single page in that book? Has anyone here ever gotten halfway through a book and forgotten what they're reading? What the heck am I reading? Oh, it's right there at the top. Okay. I forgot again. Oh, it's right there. Woo! That is handy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm reading. Yes, I do. Yes, I do now. Didn't know what I was reading. And that's handy. Didn't want to have to go all the way back to the cover. Didn't know what I was reading. Didn't know what I was reading. Knew I was reading something, didn't know what. <laughs> Why? They, when you go to the movies, they don't put the title of the movie at the top of the screen. Yeah, you know a movie's gonna be bad when they get, when where they get their reviews are from complete ludicrous places? Terrific, says the Hoboken auto trader. <laughs> thumbs up, says, Ch thumbs up, says Chang's Chinese takeout menu. <laughs> and, and if a movie makes it really big, they do the obvious thing, they make a carnival ride out of it. You see this all over the country. Batman the ride, Superman the ride. And the connection is obvious. You get on, get off, and you're like, man, that was just like the movie. Except the movie had a storyline and characters, and that was a little bit more like a roller coaster. But other than that, <laughs> you know, some of them are good, but some of them way too scary, right? JFK, the ride. <laughs> Has anyone ever here ever heard of uh, the plot to kidnap Russell Crowe? It was a kidnapping plot. Where did they come up with this? Guy sitting down on his checkbook. Honey, I don't know how we're gonna pay this visa bill. Oh, yes I do! <laughs> Spark, they got that plan going. Yeah, we're getting Crow! How are you gonna pull that off? Maybe see him at a public event? Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Crow. I was wondering if I could get an autograph. Sure, you got a pen? In my van. <laughs> this is how kidnappers walk. 